they referred to not operating regional bus services out of the center. Wh uh, what are they referring to? As part of the as part of the MOU, there is a provision for intercity bus service, such as Greyhound or some of the new carriers that we've seen come, um, and that so the center has been designed to accommodate um, a facility, a, a service like that. It's the under the MOU, it is WMATA's responsibility to procure such a contractor to come and use that facility. And so they're saying so if, that, if they're not going to operate this facility, then they shouldn't be responsible to procure an inner city bus operator. So either there would be no operator or we would have to procure it under that scenario or something like that? Well, it's not our responsibility to do that. Um, if things change for some reason, then it's in everybody's interest, I think. The whole project is designed to be able to accommodate the, the benefit of having everybody at one location, metro rail, metro bus, local bus. And the residents of downtown Silver Spring expect that the Greyhound operation will move into the transit center for a good reason because we're tired of having a Greyhound stop right in our Fenton Village area. Right. And I think it's offensive that, you know, that might not happen, that we would have to choose to continue operating a, a bus at the fringe of a suburban, of, of, a, of a neighborhood, uh, or, or alternatively not have service for our residents in that area. I really object to that. And, um, you know, uh, WMATA's position is very similar to ours. They don't want to pay for maintenance costs that they weren't planning for. I don't blame them for that. However, they have obligations under the MOU just like we do, and they have to work with us, and we're going to have to get this resolved. So.